This train that runs to the southwest suburbs of New Delhi appears like any other, until you take a close look at its roof, partially covered in solar panels. The prototype began service six months ago and is still being tested. These are eight panels on this side and eight panels on that side. So they are like this. This is a complete six coach train, 96 panels. We have done it for the first time anywhere in the world. No other railway in the world has done it. The solar energy produced by the train isn't what's making it run. India's trains still use high-polluting diesel engines. But the solar panels make up for some of the environmental cost by generating the electricity used on board. India's rail system isn't the only sector leading the charge toward renewable energy. When visitors land in the southern city of Kochi, they're greeted by a field of over 46,000 solar panels. The international airport is the first in the world entirely powered by the sun. India's push toward solar energy also comes with economic benefits. Over the past two years, hundreds of factories making solar panels have sprung up across the country, like this one that used to make diesel generators. India can be the second biggest manufacturer after China in the world. There is a huge demand coming up in Africa, uh, Middle East, there is a huge demand. And India itself, 20 or 30 percent of our villages are not yet electrified. So we can use solar energy to have distributed uh, power plants uh, in those villages and provide power to those villages. By the year 2022, India plans to produce 25 times as much solar energy as it does today solidifying its place as a leader in the global solar energy market.